My childhood was very difficult. We had no money, and my family was very poor. My father would often beat my mother, and he would also beat me and my sisters. Every day, my father was out drinking. Me and my four sisters would do all the housework and cooking. Because of these, I had to stop going to school. When COVID came to Vietnam, there were no jobs anywhere. We were searching everywhere for work, listening out for opportunities wherever we could. Then I met with my friend who told me she could help me and my sisters find work and money as long as we went with her. And I believed her because she was my friend, and we have known each other for a very long time. I trusted her and COVID was now widespread, so I didn't know what else we could do for work. To get to our new jobs, my friend arranged for some men to take us through the mountains. At that time, I was very scared. I called my friend and we argued. I told her, I don't want to go any further. I'm really scared. Why have you done this to us? I have had other jobs but never had to travel like this before. Something wasn't right, but we had to continue for more than 10 days. It was so, so difficult to keep going. We knew what her plan was. She had tricked us to come to Myanmar. She had sold us to other people to be a prostitute. But when he sold us, I refused to do what they wanted. My sister was very afraid. She also didn't want to do that. She was scared, and she asked me, what should we do? She said, I don't want to do this kind of work. I absolutely refused. I told the boss, there is no way I'm going to be a prostitute. But he started to hit me, and my sister saw and tried to help me. She shouted, don't hit my sister, don't hit my sister. She ran over to protect me. But then he just started hitting us both, and then he locked us in a room. After one week, I met a kind Chinese woman there. I could speak Chinese to her, so I begged her to help us escape. That woman persuaded one of the pimps to leave the door open, so we were able to escape. Then I was able to call my mother, who then called the Vietnamese police, who arranged for us to be rescued. We were then held in prison in Shan State for three months. When COVID restrictions loosened, the police helped me come here to Eden. When I came to Eden, I was very happy. At Eden, I was able to meet good teachers and make great friends. But when I first arrived, I didn't really want to talk to anyone. But slowly, slowly, I started to open up about what happened to me. After some time, I was able to talk to more people and I began to feel more comfortable. I didn't feel the trauma anymore. Every day I rest well and eat well, and I feel so much better. I'm just so happy. At Eden, I was able to learn how to make jewelry, even how to make this jewelry. I also learned how to paint and create all different kinds of art. But the most important thing I learned was how to communicate better. When the next group of 19 Vietnamese women were rescued, I was so happy to see my nation of people. I was so shocked to see how Aiden could help so many Vietnamese women. Lisa and the other staff at Eden made it their top priority for us to return home. I was so happy when I found out I could finally go home. I couldn't even sleep. My heart was so moved and I am so excited to see my mom and youngest sister again. When I did jewelry modeling, I feel like a real model. Wearing this beautiful jewelry and clothes made me feel so happy. 
The meaning of this necklace is freedom. If you want to do something, you can choose to do it. It's possible to fly to freedom. No one can control you. We can fly. We fly to new heights. We can choose our own dreams. At Eden, where there is a necklace, a pair of earrings, or a bracelet, each piece has a deep meaning around freedom. If you ask me, what is Eden? I can't put into words. I can only describe it in one word. Amazing. <laughs>